What's going on YouTube? Sacred Sage here, and we are going to export morphs from Daz to Unreal, but not the normal type of morphs. So, the easy way to get morphs is send to Daz to Unreal, enable morphs, you choose your morphs, you're good to go. Simple as that, right? But morphs that are not with the actual model, like McKenzie here, which is the name of my model, let's say it's Golden Palace. It's not going to work. It's, it's just not because it's a geograph, right? So we got to get these morphs from the geograph to the model. Took me a while to figure this out. I stumbled across it on, a, on the guy that created the, um, the plugin or whatnot. So this is, this is how we, we fix that situation. So first thing you have to do is get the morph that you want, which I got this one right here, Menorah Pinch, left one. And you want these values right here, the name, the label, the path, the type, which is the modifier pose, and then make sure auto follow is off. Now, if you want them to be the same exact kind, you need to remember the minimum, the maximum, default value, and nudge. Notepad works wonders. So I just copy and I paste all that over to a notepad. Okay, and then we just go ahead and then we will cancel that we will click on our model here go into edit mode which I'm already in edit mode but click on that go into edit mode create new property right click create new property so I am going to do some copy and pasting so copy that copy that copy that now the type is a modifier pose and we can make this whatever color we want i'm gonna have it woo, let's do a hot pink maybe we'll be able to see it then we are going to change the nudge so all these values are actually correct the default the value that's fine negative one is actually one uh, negative 100 percent, so that's correct one is 100 percent, so that's correct and then the sensitivity which is the nudge is is actually 4% right here. We want it to be 1%, right? So 0, uh, 0 0.01 and then create. So we are going to see right here, hot pink. This is the one, but nothing will happen anyways. I got I got the model covered, so you can't see anything, but it doesn't work quite yet, right? So the next step you have to do is go to that same exact one, which is right here, right? And you're going to click on the settings parameter settings and now you're going to click on the follow click on auto follow and once I hit accept you'll see this one disappear because it is now following this see gone bam so that is how you get the morph over to the model now when you do file send to das to unreal It'll be on the model and you can select it and it'll actually transfer over to the Unreal Engine. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. If you did, give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, help support it. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.